Welcome to music. Get your music books out, your textbooks. Turn to page 62 and read this section by yourself. Pause the video and read it so you know what we're talking about. All right, welcome back. We're talking about time signature. Now, time signature is at the beginning of a song. It looks like a fraction, and it is the key to the rhythm of the song. So it tells the song leader what to do with his hands and how to sing correctly. These two numbers mean something. So the top number tells us how many pulses or beats are in each measure. Now, remember the measure is a part of music. So in this case, it would be that there would be two beats in each measure. Now, these can be split up to different kinds of notes, but they must equal two beats. Now, the bottom number tells us which note equals one beat. So four tells us that the quarter note equals one beat. So off of that, we can figure out what how to sing the rest of the notes. If we know that the quarter note equals one beat, we can figure out how to sing how long each of the other notes are. All right. 3-4 would tell us that there would be three beats in each measure, and still the quarter note is the pulse note. 4-4 four, four tells us there's four beats in each measure, one, two, three, four, and then the quarter note is still the pulse note, okay? Let's practice this. In exercise 21, please open to exercise 21. Letter A, this is the music of the song Little Children Can You Tell. By drawing lines, show that the notes in each measure equals two quarter notes. The first measure is done for you. Look at the time signature. It is two, four, which represents, which tells us that each measure is split into two beats. Each measure must have two beats. Now, the note that gets the one beat is the quarter note because if you see right here the four the four means that the quarter note is the pulse note all right notice how this song is at the top there are it's split into two quarter notes okay but it doesn't mean that we have to sing da 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 we don't have to sing just quarter notes we can split the quarter notes into eighth notes like we did here your job is to draw lines to the note that equals the quarter note. So if you look up here, in which notes, which of these notes equals a quarter note? Well, two eighths equal a quarter note. So you need to draw a line kind of like this. Uh, let's see. Draw a line here and here. Okay. That tells us that the two eighth notes equals this quarter note. Now... So this is our measure right here. So this is our first beat right here. Now our second beat, we have a quarter note and we have a quarter note. Now they equal each other, okay? So we just draw a line here, okay? The next one we have, so me, 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 fa, re, re, do, re. These two eighth notes equals a quarter note. So you can draw two lines like here. Do, re, mi, fa, mi, fa. The me and the fa equals the quarter note because they're two eighth notes that equals a quarter note. So keep on with a song like this, all right? What you're doing is that you are drawing lines to the notes that equal that quarter note, okay? Do the whole song. At the bottom of the section, do numbers one through three by yourself. You should be able to do it by yourself. Look in your book if you get stuck. Number four. In 2-2 two, two time, there are blank pulses in every measure. Okay, so this is talking about the top number. Let's right here. 2-2, two, 3-4, two, 6 eight, and 9-8. The top number tells you how many pulses are in each measure, between each measure bar. So you need to go through, and whatever the top number is, that is the number of how many pulses are in each measure. Okay, so for example, number 4, in 2-2 two, two time, there are two pulses in each measure. In 3-4 time, there are three pulses in each measure. Okay, now go to the next page, number five. In 2-4 time, now in number five, it's talking about the bottom number. It's talking about which note is the pulse note. Is it the eighth note? Is it the quarter note? Is it the half note? Which note is it? So, the four, if four is on the bottom, it means that the quarter note 
is the pulse note. The quarter note gets the one beat, gets the beat. If it's a two on the bottom, it means that the half note gets the one beat. If it is the, if it is an eight on the bottom, that means the eighth note. If you see an eighth note in the song, that is the note that gets the one beat. All right. So, for example, in two four time, the quarter note gets is the pulse note. In three two time, it is the half note because two means half note. Half note gets the pulse note. In 4-4 four, four time, it is the quarter note again, and then in 3-8 time, it is the eighth note. That is the pulse note, all right? Three time signatures that are very common are the 2-4 time, the 3-4 time, and the 4-4 four, four time. So that would be your answer for number six. All right, great job, y'all. This is our last lesson in this book, so we're going to have a review next week, and then the test the next week, and then we're done. High five, y'all. Great job. Thank you.